Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm Simone and today I want to um, give you an update because it's day 36, I think, of my juice fast. Check the title if I'm wrong. <laughs> I got the last one wrong. I didn't realize it till like the next day. But um, <clears throat> yeah, I should have a few updates for you. So tomorrow I'm getting a colonic. I booked it maybe like two or three weeks ago. Um, originally I wanted to get a colonic like at the beginning, maybe sometime during the middle and then one at the end, but this actually might end up being my only colonic of the whole juice fast. We'll see. Um, what's interesting is that in my enemas, I haven't been seeing a lot of waste coming out and I haven't been really feeling much of a need to do the enemas. <laughs> so, um, I've been doing less of them, but, um, I've been doing it maybe like every other day instead of like every day, I think. Um, which is really fascinating. <laughs> And uh, what else? I feel like I have a lot of updates. Oh yeah, I've been having a lot of emotional detox and it's just so fascinating how it happens. Like, um, cause it just comes up so fast and is gone so fast. And then last night when I couldn't sleep, like I was just like um, laying there and it was just like rapid fire, like one thing after another, after another. And what was interesting is that I kept feeling called to like forgive myself for these things or forgive the other per excuse me, the other person. Um, and I'm just finding that really fascinating. So, yeah, if you watched my last video, I talked about, um, a weird sleep schedule that I've been on, <laughs> where I've been staying up into, like, crazy hours of the morning and then sleeping, like, well into the afternoon. And, uh, that's been persisting. <laughs> have not been able to correct it, but last night I actually did end up pulling an all-nighter, so I'm actually coming at you with zero sleep. <laughs> I did not go to sleep last night. And it's crazy because like usually the day after I pull an all-nighter, like I have to take it really easy and um, my mind is kind of like foggy, like I'm kind of like underwater, but I don't feel like that at all. And I did, I did lay in bed, so I like I rested, but I wasn't asleep. And then I got up around 4 p.m. and just decided, 4 a.m., sorry, and just decided to meditate. So I meditated for like an hour and then I got a bunch of stuff done. And I'm hoping this resets me for like my ideal sleep schedule because even though I didn't like sleep last night, me just getting out of bed and like doing my ideal sort of morning routine anyway was like amazing. It was just like so good. So I'm really hoping that because um, I went grocery shopping today and hopefully I'll be really tired. I'll just like pass out at like 9.30 tonight <laughs> and I can just start resetting my sleep schedule. So what else? Oh, I had a craving. <laughs> It was actually today and um, I know it's my first craving because I've been looking out for it. I wanted to like write it down when it happened. Um, so yeah, 36 days in and I had my first craving and it was so random. It was for like Indian food and again, like the emotional detox, it just like came and went so fast. I was just like, whoa, but it was interesting because I could like actually smell the spices, like the Indian food and I was like, whoa, like, I don't know, it just kind of blew my mind. And uh, I don't know, maybe I'm a little delirious because I didn't get sleep or something. <laughs> and that's why I was able to like smell it. I don't know. But um, yeah, it was over in like probably like, I don't know, a second or less. Like it was very, very brief, but it was so visceral. I was like, whoa, like I had a craving. Cool. Because <laughs> it just hasn't been happening so far. Um, what else? Um, yeah, mentally I'm just feeling like very, very focused. And I was mostly drinking like watermelon juice. So um, it's like very drinkable, even though it wasn't like very sweet. I mixed it with like lime and ginger. I think I, I think I made a video of it, or it's like maybe my last video where I was making that juice. So I was just kind of having that. Um, and I made another batch of that um, exact same recipe, except maybe it was like lemon instead of lime. But um, yeah, it was pretty good actually, like taste wise. But mostly it just was, it just went down very fast, very easy. And it was just very drinkable and easy for me to like go through that. So I was pretty happy about that. Um, just because it just felt like I could get a little bit more in. So I think this week I was averaging more like three juices a day, maybe like four. But yeah, I'm trying to work my way up to see if I can actually get a gallon in like a lot of the juice fasters like recommend just to see what it's like. I just want to feel what it's like to like do that. And I don't know if I told you all this, but I kind of fell down this like, um, rabbit hole of like competitive eaters and how they like stretch their stomach over time to like get more food in and how they do that without like gaining weight and it seems like what's happening is that they're not actually like digesting most of the food they're just kind of like swallowing it whole and then their stomach just stretches to like accommodate it and then 
their bowels are just always moving because they're always putting so much in. So they don't really seem to deal with, um, or maybe maybe just this one guy I was following that, not following, just like watching his videos, I had to actually like train the YouTube algorithm to not like um, send me any more of those like competitive eating videos because it's just so gross and I just, I don't know. But I was just like fascinated with it for like two days straight. And I think I was just fascinated with it to kind of like pick up that tip about kind of like stretching out your stomach, you know, because I think mine is just like really shrunk. I don't know why. Um, could be like all the stuff I've been dealing with, like traumatic things, like emotional things. And like, it's just like, I think my body was just like kind of clenched up in that area of my body. And I think that might be, might be what was like causing the constipation and stuff like that. But um, <clears throat> that's just the theory I have. But I don't know. I believe everything that's been happening on this juice fast has been happening for a reason. <laughs> and even that weird stint with the competitive eater thing, I think it happened for a reason. And it was actually interesting information. And I've been hearing some other, I've been watching a lot of like raw vegan content. Because I know a lot of people after a juice fast like really, really want to like transition into raw vegan. That's not really like a particular goal of mine. Um, at least not fully raw vegan. Um, I already kind of eat like high raw vegan anyway. <laughs> um, like my ideal kind of day at home would just be like a fruit meal and um, like a salad. But <clears throat> something I'm actually gonna be adding in, I might actually transition off of the juice fast this way, is getting back into green smoothies. But for transitioning off the juice fast, I definitely wanna make them on the like thinner side and just very, very simple. So like no superfoods, like nothing like that, but just, you know, greens and fruit and maybe like chia and flax seeds. Um, cause that's, that used to be like my standard recipe. And then I would maybe add other things into it, like, uh, some superfoods or some flavors or things like that. But, um, I'm just going to try to keep it to those three categories and just see how I do transitioning from juices into that, like a thinner consistency type smoothie. And then from there have like whole fruit. And then after that, start introducing like greens and then maybe salads after that. I think I'm probably going to eat like something really like some kind of like tender green, like maybe like spinach or something like by itself. Um, Cause I don't really, honestly, I don't really like these fat free dressings, but I'm going to experiment. I've been like actually looking up some recipes for like totally fat free, totally mucus free dressings just to see if I could find something that I like and I enjoy. Um, so what else? I think, um, yeah, all I had today was like, those two coconut waters i'm actually like really hungry now so i'm actually gonna need to make a juice like right after i show y'all this grocery haul but um yeah this is a lot of stuff so i think i'm like set for a while um probably at least for like the next week but um i do have a few errands actually so you know i always like to kind of like bundle things if i'm going to be like leaving the apartment so i'll probably check out some different stores here or there next week um what else do i want to say yeah i've just been feeling a lot of mental clarity um, it's just amazing. Yeah, that's something I want to talk about. Like, this is week five, and the vast majority of this time so far has definitely been a lot of fruit juice. And it's been really interesting to feel into this level and to kind of like experience like the all fruit juice level. Um, but as you'll see in the grocery haul, I'm ready to start transitioning into some greens to see how that goes. So I just want to experiment and just see how different juices make me feel. Those first like green juices I had and that first like pineapple beet juice I had like definitely didn't seem to like elevate me as much as like the fruit juices. So I just kind of like enjoyed the feeling of the fruit juices. I was also enjoying the flavor more, but um, I don't know. Like I still haven't been having any cravings except for that one Indian food craving. Um, so yeah, I'm not really sure like where things are going you know but i don't know just intuitively i've been feeling drawn to the greens and they looked really really good in the store so i'm like okay i'm doing it i'm like gonna get on some green juices and see what happens so i think that's it for this little update so let me show you what i got at uh, the grocery store hey so i've been meaning to mention that um i usually use produce bags and i haven't been able to find mine since i moved in here so i think i have to get new products produce bags i try not to get all this like plastic and stuff because it doesn't tend to get recycled um but i just wanted to kind of mention that but this is pretty much the only way you can get grapes so and a lot of this stuff so yeah fortunately that's how things come packaged um but yeah they finally had some organic grapes so i got a it's like stupid amount of them 
like the guy who's ringing me up. He was like, are you sure? I'm like, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> and I was kind of really sad because they had um, cherries, but they're like so annoying to pit for juice. Like it's so much easier to eat them. So um, yeah, but at least they had grapes. So I got four bags of the red seedless grapes. I think altogether this was like 14 pounds of grapes. So I'm just gonna make some mono grape juice pop probably. But I did get some limes. I got some actually some key limes, which are awesome because uh, they have seeds in them and these are like a little bit I can't really tell like when limes are right but these are like pretty soft and from using um key limes in the past like the soft ones tend to be very juicy so that's awesome and I got a little pack of um just the green grapes too I prefer like the flavors of like the red grapes and the um black grapes more but the green grapes are also really good but um I actually might make a green green juice with these like I still have a ton of apples in the fridge and that's mostly what I'm gonna make the green juice with but um yeah I just thought um it'd be nice to you know get the one little green juice got some mint um some super greens I thought it'd be good to get like the baby greens to start because they're a little bit more tender and maybe a little bit easier on the digestion just because it's been a while since I had the greens um I just want to kind of like you know just be a little more cautious in the beginning, but usually I don't have a problem. Um, got some turmeric because, oh yeah, that's one thing I forgot to mention. I've been having like some, when I got on the rebounder on Saturday, um, I was feeling like kind of um, sore for like a couple of days, which is really rare for me. Like I usually don't feel sore like into like a second day. So it just let me know that like um, my body wasn't really fighting the inflammation the same way that it usually does. So I thought adding some turmeric and some ginger to the green juice would be good for that. Um, <clears throat> got this giant already ripe pineapple. Smells amazing. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. So this is already like pretty much ready to go, but I might like leave it for tomorrow um, just in case it gets like a little bit more ripe. But yeah, I got um, some cilantro and huge, huge head of celery. And they were selling it by the bunch, so I got like the biggest one, so it's like a good deal. And I got two different kinds of parsley. It's interesting because I don't like to cook with the um, flat leaf parsley, but in juices I don't really tell the difference. But curly parsley is my favorite. That's usually the one I get. But I got both of them this time. Also got some fennel. Just has like an unbeatable flavor. It's just like so good. And I got a bag of grapefruits. They looked pretty good. I already mentioned the key limes got like three bags of these two pound um lemons organic lemons for lemon enemas and also for making juices and i got four um cucumbers these are not the english cucumbers so i think we need to like use these up sooner maybe i'm not really sure but um i'm gonna make a green juice today anyway because like um, i haven't i haven't had any like real juice today i've just had coconut water and then i got um some red cabbage so I'm probably not going to use this now, but I just thought I'd go ahead and get it because cabbage lasts a really long time in the fridge. So I'm going to use the greens and like all the ingredients that would definitely like go bad first before I move on to other things. So yeah, that's it for this haul. Um, let's see. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Bye.